In this tutorial we'll be making a hat in two different colors. So first thing we need to do is make a magic circle. If you don't like to make a magic circle you can just chain five. So now we'll chain one and then in this circle we'll make eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we'll pull this short tail. And then we'll join these two ends with a slip stitch. Now we will use our second yarn chain one now we have to work with that yarn in front so we will be making two single crochets in the same loop with the yarn in front. So we'll make two single crochets with the yarn in front in each chain. And then we'll join these two ends with a slip stitch. And this completes our first draw. Then we'll change our yarn again. Then we'll chain one. Then we'll make one single crochet in the same chain. In the second chain, we'll make two single crochets with the yarn in front. In the next chain we'll make uh, one single crochet with the yarn in front. So we'll be increasing in every second chain.
We'll insert a hook in this chain and then we we'll grab our yarn B and we we'll make a slip stitch. Now in the same chain we'll make one single crochet with the yarn in front. And now we we'll increase on every third chain. So it's one, two, and then two in the third chain. That'll be our increase. So we repeat this throughout this row. So one, two, and then two in the third chain. So we repeat this throughout this row. I don't like how it's visible where we join our ends. So let's see if we can do something different this time. So to complete the row, let's see, one, two, three, four. We insert our hook through this chain, then make a slip stitch. Now we'll grab this first yarn, or or yarn A, then we'll chain one. So with the yarn in front, we're going to insert our hook through this chain and then we'll work as usual. So now we'll be increasing on every fourth chain. So one, two, Hopefully this will work. Three. And now we will increase in the fourth chain. So we'll make two. One. Two. Three. Then increase in the fourth chain. One, two, three, increase in the fourth chain. We should repeat this for row five. So to complete row five, we insert a hook through this chain and then make a slip stitch. Now we'll grab yarn B, then we'll chain one. I think it looks a little bit better. And then we we'll insert a hook through this first chain, and then we'll work in the next stitch as usual. So now we'll increase in every fifth chain. So that would be one, two, three, four, and then we'll make two in the fifth chain. One, two, Three, four, and then we'll make two in the fifth chain. So that'll be our increase. I think this little trick we just used earlier is gonna work. It looks much better. <laughs> Alright, so increase on every fifth chain throughout row 6. To finish off this row, we insert a hook through this chain and then we make a slip stitch. Then we grab our yarn A, then 
we will chain one. Now the yarn in front we'll insert our hook through this first chain and then we'll go into next stitch and work as usual. I'm counting uh, this uh, small circle as one row two so I just don't want you to get confused. So for row seven we'll make one single crochet with yarn in front throughout this row. So repeat this throughout row 7. For row 8 we will increase on every 6 stitch. This counts as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then in the 6th stitch we will make 2. So that will be our increase. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and then in the sixth stitch we make two. One, two, three, four, five, then we'll make two in the sixth stitch. So we repeat this throughout row eight. So for row 9 we'll make one single crochet with the yarn in front through in every chain. So we make one single crochet with the yarn in front in each chain throughout row 9. So repeat this throughout this row. So repeat row 9 until you have uh, 20 rows in total. Now for our last row, we'll just make one single crochet in each chain. If your hat is a little too big or too wide, then you can try decreasing a few stitches. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, oops, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then now we'll decrease in stitch nine and ten. So again, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then decrease stitch nine and ten. And then we'll repeat this throughout this row. I hope this video tutorial was helpful and easy enough to follow. Thanks for watching!